We have all been talking about a Liverpool rebuild over the last six months, okay, specifically in the midfield. Now, Liverpool had been known for their amazing transfers under Michael Edwards, and then, of course, Julian Ward took over after Michael Edwards left. But Julian Ward will actually be out of contract at the end of this season, and Liverpool are on the hunt for a new sporting director. The big name being linked with us right now is George Schmatka. Okay, this is Klopp. I guess him and Klopp know each other. All right. Now I'll break down a little bit of his history in this video, uh, his hits, his misses with transfers and some other things like that. So make sure you subscribe if you're into that kind of content. Now, nothing is set in stone, but it looks like Liverpool are advancing in talks to make him their new sporting director. Smatka will be coming over from Wolfsburg, where he had a good career, really, in all of Germany in terms of bringing players in. And a lot of the research I was doing, some of the hits and misses of this guy, the big names, of course, uh, Dioff from Man United over to Hanover. This was back in 2012. You got Max Sense LaCroix. He plays for Wolfsburg right now. That was a big transfer. Another one in 2015, again, almost a decade ago. Wow, that's kind of crazy, but is Anthony Modeste. This was from Hoffenheim to Cologne in 2015. He now plays for Borussia Dortmund. But some of these names I know you guys recognize. Now it's just three of however many transfers he did while he was over there in Germany. But what's interesting about this proposed contract is that when he comes to Liverpool, his contract will be three years and it'll actually be until the end of Klopp's tenure. So it's likely we will only see this guy at the club until the end of the Klopp era. The 59 year old German has received some criticism and for some reason people like to nitpick things like this, but I want to bring this up because of just how good this particular player is right now. Apparently this guy let Victor Osman walk back in the day. Now, of course, Victor Osman is still unbelievably young. I want you guys to keep that in mind. So letting a player of top talent leave when they're young, in my opinion, is just a write-off. It's, it's part of being in the position. You're going to have good players that may not see a way through to the first team, but you let them walk because they want to get first team football, regardless of how good they are. If they were really that good, they would obviously be playing. And now we know Victor Osman is one of the greatest strikers in Italy at the moment, leading Napoli to a league title for the first time in, I don't know, 30 years or whatever the case was. It, it was actually insane how well he's done since he's gone to Napoli. Given that this guy is going to still be working under FSG, I think it'll be the same type of approach where we try to get a good deal, add-ons, things like that. We'll probably see the same kind, but we might see a difference in what kinds of players we go after. Clearly, there's got to be some alignment between Klopp and this guy in terms of the project going forward in this Liverpool 2.0 rebuild, especially this summer, which is probably going to be the most important summer in recent Liverpool memory. Hopefully, this deal will get over the line soon and we'll have an official announcement. Let me know what you guys think about this gentleman in the comments down below. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, hit that thumbs up button. It does a world of good telling YouTube, hey, this is a good video. Send it out to more people. All right, Reds, thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Take care.